on your private pilot checkride, your designated pilot examiner or DPE will most likely have a conversation with you about spin awareness. You will be expected to understand what makes an airplane spin, explain how to recover from a spin, and understand what situations could cause an inadvertent spin. In our last video, we spoke about stalls and what causes them. We explained that a wing experiences a stall or a sudden loss of lift when the wing exceeds its critical angle of attack for that specific airplane. When you stall an airplane, as long as the tail of the airplane stays behind the nose of the airplane, whether you are flying straight ahead or in a coordinated turn, if you enter a stall in these conditions, both wings will stall equally and the nose of the airplane will drop straight forward. Now, imagine that the tail of the airplane is no longer behind the nose. For example, imagine you are practicing a stall, you are pitching the nose up, but you're applying too much rudder pressure. That would cause one wing to move faster through the air than the other wing. Both wings are stalled because they have both exceeded the critical angle of attack, but one wing is more stalled than the other. That would mean that the outer wing that is moving faster through the air would be creating a little more lift than the other slower wing. This would cause a rolling motion in the airplane. When this inner wing drops, the relative wind, which we spoke about in our previous videos, changes, further increasing the angle of attack and therefore deepening the stall in the slower dropped inner wing. Meanwhile, the outer faster wing is stalled, but creating some lift, which slightly reduces the angle of attack for this wing, which makes that wing get pushed upwards. And all of this creates a motion of the airplane rolling over. As your airplane is falling while it's rolling, the vertical stabilizer and rudder which tend to weather vane into the oncoming wind will do just that. And that sets up a spin around the vertical axis, around the center of gravity of the airplane. The spin will continue until you stop it. So how do we recover from a spin? We use a technique called PAIR. P-A-R-E, which stands for, P is for power, throttle to idle. A is for ailerons neutral. R is for rudder opposite the direction of the spin, and E is for elevator down. You pull back the throttle to idle because you are already moving fast, falling towards the ground you don't want the engine helping to create even more speed, which could make us exceed our VNE or never exceed speed and cause structural damage to the airplane. And probably you don't want to accelerate your fall towards the earth either. You put your ailerons to neutral to avoid excess drag on the down aileron which would cause the airplane to spin even more. Rudder opposite the spin is what stops the spin. Elevator down reduces the angle of attack, breaks the stall, and gets the wings producing lift again. Then you can gradually lift the nose to climb back up to your desired safe altitude.